I am Jordan Taylor. Welcome to A Shot of Whiskey Special Edition, a preview episode with our guys over at Boiler Buzz. But before we get into that, just want to tell you all about Underdog Fantasy Sports, our newest partner. And you can go on and download my code ASOW24 to go ahead and, and join along at Underdog Fantasy and have fun. Everything we got going on over there. That is the promo code again, ASOW24. We're jumping right into it. We got the Boiler Buzz, fellas, man. We got Lewis Jackson, Rafael Davis. Big game coming up this week at the Cole Center. Number yeah. two, Purdue, and number six, Wisconsin. I be getting confused. Too many games these days, man. You know, too many games. But big game coming up between another another edition of, a, of this matchup. So we're going to break it down, fellas. What y'all think, man? What y'all, hey, we're going to start quick. the prediction. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. My bad. Real quick before I get into it. I got uh, I took some bold claims this week. This this Wisconsin team is the best Wisconsin team since when? Mm. I saw it. I saw it, man. I got tagged on Twitter. I saw 2015. it. 2015. <laughs> 2014, 15. If they played a game, who win? 2015. Think so? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm taking. No, I'm, I'm taking. Take, I'm, hey. I'm taking my 2011 team over all them teams. I'm going to be mean with you. I think this team. I think this might be the most athletic team, and I think this might be the most athletic Wisconsin team ever. Ooh, ooh, I think nah, one thing nah, you're nah, missing, nah, man, because nah, 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 nah. you're talking about you, you, when eight. you're talking when you're talking athleticism. I think you're referring to being able to score the basketball. 2014-15, no, 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 no. the best offensive efficiency in the history of college basketball. No, I'm not talking about being able to score. I'm talking about athleticism. One through define eight. that. One yeah, through define eight, eight, athleticism. Yeah. Run, jump, speed, lateral quickness, being able to finish and open the floor, being able to make a play off the bounce, being able to go get their own basket, being able to come off a screen and make a shot. There's more guys on this team with those type of skill sets than – a lot of Wisconsin teams. I, I think I think I, that I one agree. thing that gets lost. I, I don't. I, I disagree. Only there's one thing that gets lost is this is the first. This is the first Wisconsin team, even the 15 team included, that's been allowed to play with this much freedom. Mm. Oh yeah, the, I feel the you. system. The system has entirely changed. They don't run the you. swing anymore. Oh and no, they, oh, they, no. Atta- they got ball screens with, and shit. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, man, yeah. a lot of. That's that's action. what I'm they, saying too. That's what, yeah. That's the point I'm saying too. They do. It's like a. They got a, they got y'all type of discipline and y'all type of like y'all don't beat y'all selves, but then they yeah. got they type of flair to the offense and they getting up and down. They coming off ball screens. It's they getting out the way and going ISO ball. I ain't never seen Wisconsin act like this. <laughs> I, I, I will I will say I will say even when I was there, we had some teams with like with we weren't didn't necessarily have that freedom with like Trayvon Hughes and Marcus Landry Ooh, and yeah. maybe not Ooh. as much that, but I would go back to like. The Devin oh, Harris, Devin Harris, Ray Nixon, Orlando Tucker. That's might be before you know. You know, you might have no, still too. been in the still been, a, still been in the in the nutsack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey man, all I know, all I know, John Blackwell, Connor Season as bench guys. I'm taking those yeah. two guys coming off the bench over. That 2014, 2015, they got short after after y'all that, five. That's, and let's not forget that Bronson Koenig came off the bench. Do you? Oh Duke no, he did. No, he did. Guy. I know. Bronson Koenig started. Trayvon, got Trayvon hurt. Jackson got hurt. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come the first on. final four team, the the 13, 14 team, Nigel Hayes, Bronson Koenig, do you Duke, Duke can come off the bench. Jordan's nah, years, we had some good nah. guys coming off the bench too. But I, I agree. I, I, I am with you that we got we have the more depth probably in terms of playmakers than we've had. In a long, long time. There's no doubt about that. I'm with Ray, actually. I think that I agree with you. I think in terms of depth, like Connor's season was averaging, or not, I don't know what he was, like 20, or not 20, but 11, 12, and he can go get you 20, 25. Yeah. That's never – I will say, though, again, some of that is related to the, the style. Like, we had yeah. dudes – Rob Wilson's a dude who we had on our bench who never really got to play for – Who could do that? A lot of different reasons. Hey, man, what, I'm saying, knew, what I hear y'all saying is, is Bo was holding y'all back, man. What y'all saying? <laughs> yeah, that's no, my no, dog. Shit. But yeah, no, y'all know, like y'all know, what Wisconsin basketball is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or and, 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 and holding holding some guys back, and I was like, yeah, he, he he was he was limiting, and some of it was warranted because some guys probably should have been limited. 
But you that's know, real. when some guys get limited, it tends to you know this, it limits that's other real. players as well. Yeah. And the games change so, too. I mean, the shot clock's less, there's more space in the games change, more possessions, so all that's a factor that's too. Real. But yeah, you're right. I'm out here. I'm out I'm, here. Sound like Wisconsin, fam. I gotta switch back. Dang. I gotta get right. Nah, that's all right. <laughs> Come on. JP. <laughs> Cause you you in that Yo. you in that top five Wisconsin guards and you went back you put Devin Harris in there you put you said some names. What's the top five point guards? Wisconsin history. Top five point guards. Yeah. You want you want my Ooh. real answer or a diplomatic one? I want the real one. We don't do that. No, we one? don't. All right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, hey, you a professional, on, yeah. right? You don't come on. I don't know. Don't know if they gonna put on big tail, you know? No, JT, um, you know me. Come look, on, I now. think we'll point guards. Listen, listen, that's fact. So listen, <laughs> I think I personally think that that 2010, 11, 12 era of guards in the Big Ten might have been the greatest, the greatest of all. T- and we didn't really have no NBA guards for real. No guard. But we you know, every night was like, chill. It was. No, no we, fix your bro, face. we had fix it. Your was, face it was, first. You right, you right. No, I, fix I, your face. I, I, I was. I'm talking about. I'm talking about too. one to fourteen. One to fourteen. Yeah. Like yeah. you go to Purdue, it was yeah. Lou yeah. Taylor. It was uh, Meech. 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 It was Trey came <laughs> at the end, like as a freshman. Know, like, uh, y'all, huh? Uh, we had. We had. Josh. Josh was one of the best defensive players in the league. He'll tell you he guarded an NBA guy every night. Every listen, night he had listen, an NBA listen, guard. Listen, I'm not, but again, come on, you know what goes into that NBA yeah. stuff. Like, oh, no, no. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not taking nothing, I'm not taking nothing away from the guys that are in the NBA. What I'm saying, Dimitri was an NBA player, he decided to go back to school. Like, okay. Lewis is just, he that. just five that. knife. Lewis was 6'2", he would have been a first round pick, like, Kale you know what I'm saying? Lucas like, nice. Kalen Kay Lucas, Kalen Lucas, if he would have left, if he would have, like I seen, I seen Lou, Lou just did his, uh, his all, what you do, the team, uh, your all time team, right? Yeah, yeah. And ET, oh. ET was that, like, bro, what? Come on, bro. Now. I don't know, man. Every, if we go, we, we could go guard. Juice guard was real crazy. Quick. Oh, I mean, Michigan, Russell, we in the- Russell, Russell was tough. Who? D'Angelo Russell was At, tough. Michigan, Michigan, I love D'Angelo Michigan, Russell. Michigan. And D- Aaron Kraft. I, Aaron Kraft. D'Angelo Ferrell. Russell. D'Ange- D'Angelo Russell is tough, but again, I don't think D'Angelo ever – he didn't really like, impact winning like that. You're right. That team was trash. <laughs> yeah, that team was trash. Yeah. Yeah. Michigan, yeah. Michigan yeah. had tra- three guys. Michigan no, had Michigan no, Michigan yeah. Glenn Robinson, not, Karis LeVert, Trey Burke, all those yeah. guys on one team. And Glenn Robinson. I'm not – Stauskas. Rob- Stauskas, yep. Stauskas ain't no point guard. We talking about go- like point guards. Okay. I mean, right, Darius Morris the name. from Michigan? Darius Morris. Like, bro – you can't name Darius Morris and Trey Burke and say you ain't talking point guard. Which <laughs> I one said, you I take? said, I said ten to twelve. <laughs> no, but I'm saying only one of them can play point. They weren't there together. Well, they, they they left. Darius Morris went here. No, all right, so if we Burke. get if we get to do that, if we get to do that, y'all understand? I get to take Aaron Kraft. I get to take you can. Uh, yeah, I get to take Trey Fraser. I get to take Trey Frazier. I get to take Yogi Ferrell, James Blackman, Trey Frazier. I get Trent Frazier, Trent Frazier over in Europe. I get tra- get hey, shout out Trent Frazier. He I over here in Europe. I doing get his DJ thing. DJ Nubel. I get Rory Marble Jr. Rory, Rory Marble Jr. I get Bronson Koenig. Uh, I get Ravante Rice, Terran Petway. I get Is you name it point guards I, or just guards? The Mellow Triple. Mellow Triple. That's what I was going to say. Mellow. Yeah, no, I'm, naming, I'm naming the guard. Ravante Rice, Rice is not a point Illinois. guard. We saying we saying point playing, guards. Who was their po- Tracy Abrams tore his ACL. Ravante Rice took the ball. Yeah, only, they, I, it, I'm listen. Only to me, in my opinion, you named about two or three dudes that was really like moving the needle from an impact. They was cold, and they put they was who was moving it from an impact. Trey standpoint? Burke played in the national championship. He part of us too. No, yeah, so Trey, of course. Trey, Trey is. I say who else? Yogi Ferrell. Okay, Yogi Ferrell. Trayvon Jackson and Bronson Koenig. Trey Trayvon not in the pantheon of Big Ten guards. Okay, Bronson Koenig is for sure. Jordan's got a thing against Bronson. <laughs> no, I don't have nothing against Bronson. I don't Bronson have nothing against Bronson. Bronson. I don't got nothing Bronson against Bronson. 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 I'll say this. I'll say this Bronson to your point, so nice. Darius. If you Darius or you said Darius and Trey, Kitt, Bronson and Trey are not. Bronson's not. a I'm point I'm with guard. you, but if you he never Bronson's was. Not a, Bronson Bronson was not a point guard. He was a two guard playing one. I feel that. I'm with there you. you. Go. But Bronson yeah, was a combo cold, though. guard. Bronson, he played. I mean, he, he was a combo guard. He played. He played it. Who else we had in the team that time? Yeah, Mellow Trimble at Maryland, Cole. And y'all got y'all got the Mellow Trimble's going. 
Y'all got to add you teams. We don't get Rutgers. We don't get Rutgers, Nebraska. We don't get all them. Austin so and Andre Hollins was cold blue. at Minnesota. But no, no, no. I know, I know we got a uh, – my bad. We got, I, got, I got y'all off track. But I do want to uh, – <laughs> Wisconsin Purdue, Wisconsin Purdue coming up. But yeah, yeah, we we gonna put a pin in that. We go, we gonna come back to that. We go, we gonna put a pin in that. It's been a lot of, it's been a lot of, it's been a lot of great players. I, I just want to go back. Right, you know, you compare it to the thirteen, the final four teams. If we're gonna compare it to the first final team, I I, I think this Wisconsin team is that. But that's hope. That's pumped the brakes a little bit. If we're talking fourteen, fifteen. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey man, I don't know, man. All I'm saying is Max. All I'm saying is Max. I, this is one of the first, and, and they are playing different. I'm getting, I'm giving that to y'all. Yes. But they got five guys on the floor at all times. You can't leave none of them. How is that different? They haven't thing? had the, I'm talking about they, when they got the ball, there's no go double team in Frank. There's no go helping on Sam's drive or it's going to be a bucket. Like we used to steam to go double Frank. Like we used to put – we used to put Vince – Vince yep. Edwards. We used to put yep. Vince you, Edwards you, on Frank yep. and, and me on Sam. And we put and, AJ and, 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 uh, on the point. Yep, on yep. Nigel. Yeah, and but like – that used to be to an advantage. We could make that work. There is no scheming with this team. You just got to play straight up. And you, just you, get you, you lost, though, and every that, time we played, so it didn't work. No, but I'm saying, no, but y'all didn't win every game. Y'all, like, y'all lost to Maryland. Y'all can yeah, remember the Maryland I, I, know game? You, I know what you're saying. I know what you're no, saying. The Maryland, you're saying game, yeah. the Maryland game, it was let Bronson beat us and Bronson struggled. I remember that game. We lost, we lost two games all year. To, I mean, no, no, no! Lot. I'm not saying y'all were a bad team. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying in the sense of <laughs> this team, there is really no double up on these dudes and let these dudes beat us, and we feel comfortable with that. I in my in, I firmly believe though most of that credit, as obviously the credit goes to the talent of the players, but a lot of that should be put on the coach guard for what oh, he's no, allowed with, hey, to hey, say. Hey, I'm with you. I'm so with you on that. But you're you, you're also saying that they they also don't have anybody to double. Because they don't have a Frank or Sam, they don't have anybody at that level. No, what do you, AJ AJ Stores no, NBA no, yeah, guy. Gosh, AJ Stores and AJ why AJ Stores AJ Stores. I'll take AJ Stores. Yeah, if I'm are. going talent wise, if I'm putting all guys on a piece of paper, Frank included, Sam included, I'm gonna draft the AJ first. All right. He can make. He's six seven. He's up there. That gets, that gets, that, 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 gets that, that gets into that NBA stuff we was talking about. No, 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 yeah. no NBA yeah. stuff. No, NBA that gets into stuff. That, no, no, no. No, that's six, NBA seven. stuff because you talking no, listen, about listen. his potential. No, 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 no. Right now, he's six seven. He can make a three. He can dunk on you at the rim. He can get it to a mid range. He can defend if he wants to. He can defend one, two, three. He do, he's done that all season long. He's taking Tyson we Walker the same to page. the post. He's taking Tyson Walker into the post, got a bucket. The next play, he shot a three. The next play, he drove and shot a pull-up. His offense, and then when they're struggling, when it gets to five, six seconds on the clock, they give it to him, and they get the fuck out the way. It, you, we are, we are on the same page, he can but go he's get not his the, own bucket. He's not he's not a better college ba- he's not a better college basketball player oh, right see, now. There you go. Frank I'm was. talking about basketball player, not college, not high school, not NBA. Right, that, that's we're talking about this team, though. We're talking about this team comparing we, to the past team. That's, no, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah that's if we what, go to the park. I'm taking AJ. Sure. Any team setting, I, Frank is great. I don't get me wrong. Like Frank was amazing. <laughs> like Frank was amazing. I'm taking over AJ. Frank. Oh, I think you wilding. I, I, I don't no, know if bro, I can take him I'm, over I'm seven foot take, shoot I'm, pass I'm, dribble. I'm always taking the guy that can go get his own basket. Always. For, ooh, that, that, I, that, can, listen. that can go get his own. I'm always taking. The I, guy I hear you. Dribble. I hear you. I think. I think Frank might be a stretch. But look, let's jump hey, into this preview real quick, man. <laughs> Because I was supposed, I was supposed to be the point guard of this preview, and you got me moving like a two guard. That's why, that's why they said Bronson yeah. was better than me yeah. sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Get back so to the combo guard, right like now, a two Jordan, guard. Right. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to shoot. <laughs> Listen, man, we got like we said, big Where game this here? week coming up, man. Two versus six. We talked a lot about Wisconsin. I think personally, this Purdue team being number two is one of the lesser talented Purdue teams that I've seen. Now that we mm-hmm. talk about, which to me is is you know just and some of that is from the Purdue teams that I played against where you know Lou arguably the fourth best player on your team which is crazy because you got three like we said three pros three or three NBA guys so one let's just break it down like this is this where does this rank among Purdue Wisconsin battles in terms of hype importance all that man that's a uh that's a good question I got it it's high um it's got to be somewhere top 10, maybe even top five. We just talking about a little earlier. I'm thinking about that year, my junior year. We play against y'all. It's uh, It was a big stretch for us. I know we played Illinois. 
Then we had to play you guys, and that was 10-11 matchup for the number two seed. We had been a game behind Ohio State in that race. I think we had like maybe four or five games left. So, I, mm, I it's somewhere up there, but they still got two games left. So, I think the next game is going to be even more important depending on how the Big Ten race is going to finish out. What about you, Josh? Yeah, I, I, I think, to your point, Lou, I think, we play again in Mackey the last game of the Big Ten season, and that very well could be, you know, a, a, a sixteen and three against sixteen and three winner take all game. Uh, but you look back, and that would be very similar. Yeah, on senior night, that could, that could be very similar to two years ago when uh, Purdue came into Wisconsin's house. I think they were tied for the Big Ten. It was winner take all Big Ten title. Uh, Chucky hit Hepburn hit that. Uh, Jay Nivey hit the three to tie it. Chucky came down, hit a bank three at the buzzer, essentially to win. That one is way more hype than this just because of, uh, you, you know, the stakes being the last game of the year. The late, later you get in the year, it's always a bigger stake. But when you're talking two of the top six teams in the country, I think two against six, you're talking two of the top four offensive efficiency teams in the country. Uh, there's a lot of hype here, and it, there's, it's really a two-man race. So I, I think it's, a, it, it's up there for sure. Ray, Ray, break it down. What's got to happen for Purdue to get a win this week? Nah, Sunday. Purdue. When you go, when you go, can you hear me? Yeah. When you go to Wisconsin, first thing first, you can't take, you can't turn the ball over, you can't take quick shots, you can't take those pull up jumpers and those floaters. You got to move the basketball when it gets <laughs> loud. You got to beat Wisconsin playing Wisconsin kind of basketball a little bit. So I think Purdue, if, you, if Purdue can take care of the glass, if they can bully them on the glass, get some offensive rebounds, and if they make the shots, I think Purdue, I think Purdue on the road. But if it's a game where Wisconsin can control the pace, either way, whether they want to speed it up or slow it down, and they can get some offensive rebounds, some second crack set it, and then if they can turn Purdue over, that's where they get in trouble. But I think Purdue, if they control the little things as far as rebounding, turnovers, making their free throws, I think that's the recipe on the road. But I think it's a it's a huge game think- for them. I think it's going to be important for Wisconsin. Let me know what y'all think. I think it's going to be important for Wisconsin to attack the hell out of out of Zach Eady early. If I'm putting the ball in AJ Store's hands, I'm seeing if I can get him in foul trouble. I'm making him work. I'm trying to put him on his heels in the first five minutes of the game downhill. Put my shoulder in his chest. Try and dunk on him a couple of times. Like I'm doing. I'm I'm testing his seeing seeing what's in his heart early. Um, I think that's going to be a big factor in the game. Because obviously we all know what what he can do, but uh, what you guys? No, I was just curious, Lou. Like, because I think it's a big factor is do we double Zach Eady or do we just let him go for twenty five thirty and then let uh, maybe control the other guys? Like, Lou, what have you seen teams do against Eady? Like, are teams doubling him hard every time and just or does does Wisconsin try to take away you know those guards threes and and not let those guys get going and just let Eady kind of get his for twenty five thirty or? Because that's going to be a f- big factor, too. Do we hard double him, or do we just kind of yeah. look at his? No, that's a great question. I think, for me, I think you let Zach Eady be Zach Eady. Like, it's easier said than done, and teams may want to throw out that double team, but he's going to get his. So you just kind of got him more so. Is Brady Smith going to beat you tonight? Fletcher Lawyer, Cam Heidi, Mason Gillis. I think a lot of people underrated Mason Gillis, just how he always gets the second-chance rebounds, knocking down those threes. If those guys aren't going – Okay, now you got to play because we know Zach's going to get 20, but now who carries the rest of that load? So for me, exactly. I'm just saying, big fella, get yours, and somebody else prove to me that you can beat us, and we'll live with that. Yeah. What's Matt, what's Matt Painter telling y'all going into a game like that? So what's he telling his guys? Like, what's what's the mentality? Is it any different? Is there anything special that he that he's trying to say to y'all to get under y'all's skin? Or what, what's going on in the locker room? It's little personal matchups. I think it's more you send your assistants. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Coach Owens, you saw, I say, hey, Jordan Taylor finna walk through that tunnel. Jordan Taylor walked through that tunnel, Lou. You know what I mean? It's like, I think all the coaches at the top of the upper echelon Big Ten try to act like they don't have any more, you know, grit or they want to win this game. But we all know what time it is. We all know the board. We all know who's who, what game it is. So you just know it's like, hey, strap, strap on right now. Like, they coming down that tunnel. What was That's Bo like? Fact. And, and you mentioned Braden's man, Bo. <laughs> Bo is. <laughs> I look, Bo is. That's my dog. I I love Bo. He he, 
one of the best dudes, especially, you know, after you graduate, like he almost like flip a switch, like yeah. you know, all of a sudden become like best friend. His thing was the game doesn't change. It's, you know, it's just saying you get another 40. Everything's the same. Everything's the same until you get in that first media timeout <laughs> and, a, and, a call, and a call happens. You know, you might have you might have drove to the basket, got your block knocked off. And he's talking, he's yelling at the rest. As soon as you sit down, oh, what the fuck, Jordan? Like, I'm like, hey, man, I thought, I thought it was a bad call, man. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he going he to he go, he go, he go tell you, he go, t- I think he. He recruits a certain type of guy, like we know that, uh, generally speaking. So I think he he coaches them and te- taught them a same a similar way or a certain yeah. type of way where he didn't want to put any nerves into it. But then when the game is going, like you know, he he thinks he's from, he think he from wherever he think he's from. Man. Yeah, yeah. He, he would also he would also make those claims that every game's the same, everything's the same. But Purdue and Michigan State week in practice is always a little different. It's always a little more intense, you know. So Ohio State, Ohio State yeah, those yeah. three, yeah. especially. Yeah. So you got you talked about Braden Smith too. Braden Smith is a dude he's averaging like seven and a half assists a game. I think leading the Big Ten or second in the Big Ten um, yeah. in assists. I don't remember exactly which one. You could probably relate specifically to to his. Um, his position, right, where, you know, you got Zach Eady, you had Robbie Hummel, Jawan Johnson, but you won so many games for them in so many different ways other than scoring. Like, I knew when we played Purdue, I was going to be dog tired, and I was probably going to have to work my ass off to get 17 points because every time I turn around, I got this dude in my shorts. So talk about talk about what his mentality is like going into the game, being that X factor, being the guy who's going to have to make plays, who teams might be, might you know, he's got to beat us, but – what, what's his mentality going into the game? Oh, man, uh, I say I'm a little jealous of Brady from time to time because he gets told, yo, we, we need you to score. <laughs> like, you got to score, which I mean, it showed, obviously, <laughs> last season. Like, they telling him, come off that pick and roll. If Zach not to shoot it, but he a willing passer. So, you know, Etuan, Rob, and Juwan get the job doing. It's like, Lou, find some, you find some. <laughs> but... But no, it's, um, it's 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 big for us because obviously you were a scoring guard. You obviously you ran the floor. I hated guard. You were pick and rolls, but you always had to respect like yo. If he comes off this pick and roll, it could be a three. It could be a pull up jump shot. He can dime. So you just always kept me on my toes. So I think with Braden, him being able to show he wants to come off that pick and roll, shoot the pull up. Now those passes last year, the jump passes, has been less. It's been less turnovers. It's been more easier for them to create shots for other guys because now he's a willing scorer. So him staying aggressive and knowing, like, we damn near need 15, like 12 is cool, but that 15, 20, we're looking for you to get that. So I think it just took him to the next level, knowing my team wants me to score. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And Josh, what you think, man? It's all right. We, we running down here, Josh. We're going to break it down like this. Give me your prediction. Who who wins? What's the score? And why? I think, I think Wisconsin is going to win. 72, 69. Mm. I think it's, you know, two high scoring teams, but I think at the end of the day, it's Wisconsin <laughs> Purdue at the Kohl Center. I, I don't think it's going to be a game yeah. in the 80s, even though these teams have been scoring in the 70s and 80s. I think it's going to be a little bit more of a grinded out type game because that's just what they are. Uh, and you make a good point, Lou. I think Braden Smith is kind of the engine that makes him go, even though obviously Zach Eady is the best player. But I think Braden Smith, you know, makes him go. And at our end, Chucky Hepburn is the perfect matchup for him. He is the perfect matchup yeah. to kind of take him out of his rhythm, maybe get him out of their sets a little easier. Uh, Chucky has really embraced being a defensive stopper, which is kind of crazy, calling it what it is. He's like a role player defensive stopper these days for us. So uh, I think that's a perfect matchup, and I think that's going to be the difference in the game. And I think we have enough wings that will be able to make shots compared to Purdue's wings, and I think that's going to be the difference. Lou, what you got? What you think? Prediction and why? We're going to flip. We got to flip it. Obviously, you know, I'm going with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was such a hard decision. But, uh, no, I think it's definitely going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a close game. I don't see it being nowhere between really a three to five point game. Maybe free throws at the end make the game look like it's more than what it is. But I think yep, it really yep. comes down to the wings. You know, I think, like you said, Chucky Hepburn against Bray Smith is a great matchup. Zach Eadie's going to be him. We expect AJ to do what he's going to do. So I, I want to know what my wings are going to do. If Fletcher Lawyer going to decide to guard today, Lance Jones, how is he going to be able to guard those wings? So I'm looking forward to the wing matchup, but I got Purdue getting out of here. Three to five point victory, tough win. 
I got I got Wisconsin in a 78 to 72 win. Ooh. And to me, the X factor is going to be Steven Crowell stepping out. He shoots one and a half threes a game. He's shooting 52% from the three-point line. I think he steps out tomorrow. He pulls Edie away from the basket a little bit, opens up and gets a couple dunks for AJ Store, maybe a, a pick and pop where, you know, I, I don't know what Purdue's going to do with that. They might keep uh, Edie in a drop and, and X out, rotate, I don't know. But I think Steven Crowell is uh, – He's going to hit a couple big threes, and I think A.J. Storr is going to capitalize off that getting downhill. John Blackwell as well, uh, once you get scared of that three ball going in. So, Badgers win in the cold. You already know how that goes. If it was Mackie, oh, yeah. if it was Mackie, I might be the first I might be the first person on one of these shows to pick against <laughs> yeah, my no. own team. I will. I will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mackie, Mackie, I swear to God, every time I play in that joint, I feel like the air comes out your lungs in the first, like, half. Takes like and we feel like that at the cold center, there. right? Yeah, <laughs> so I, I don't even like going to shoot around in a cold center. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be cold, ice cold. Yeah, we gonna keep we that air, we keep that yeah. AC on. <laughs> gonna keep that AC. We lost, we lost Ray, but we already know what he was gonna choose, man. You know, he was gonna choose Purdue, so we'll just assume that. But listen, yeah. man, y'all make sure you go tune into the game this Sunday, the big game number two versus number six. We appreciate y'all checking us out. Looking forward to the game, and we'll catch y'all next time. I'm Jordan Taylor, Josh Gosser, Lewis Jackson, and Rafael Davis, who, who took off on us, and we'll catch y'all next time.